Well, I figured what better way to see the city than with a bird's eye view captured atop Sydney Tower. Okay, I'm usually afraid of heights, so this uh, trip to the tower, it's a little scary, but it's a lot of fun to see Sydney from this perspective. Take a look. Sydney Tower, as you can see, is over a thousand feet in height, windows cleaned by a semi-automatic washing machine. Notice here, for $40 more, you can upgrade to Skywalk. You put on a suit, walk literally outside on a glass platform to look straight down. I think I'll pass. There's a lot going on in the harbor, from whale watching to jet boat rides to view the incredible scenery. The most incredible, I thought, the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Look, those are people. You can barely see them, but you can hike over the top of the bridge it is an incredible majestic structure. The only thing that can top it is the phenomenal Sydney Opera House, the most beautiful building I've ever seen. Well, as far as views go, this is pretty hard to beat. <laughs> this is kind of the emblem of Sydney, the Opera House, the bridge. It's just absolutely beautiful and incredible here. It's practically impossible to describe the majesty to you of this building. It's so innovative, it is so original. It's just unlike anything that you've ever seen before. The other thing that's hard to describe is how enormous the building is. It's over four and a half acres in its footprint. And perhaps the most amazing thing is the covering. Now, seeing pictures, I'd always imagined it was like a white Teflon, like the old RCA dome in Indianapolis, but as you can see here, it's tile. It's over one million tiles. Now, imagine the weight of these tiles. Imagine the the incredible difficulty of engineering in the structure. Then it was off to the rocks. That was the statue of Captain Bly of Mutiny on the Bounty fame. It's a great area of old city that includes incredible bars and just super places to hang out. Good to see a former client there. The Four Seasons where Lady Gaga stayed. Books by friends of mine in the bookstores nearby. My day ended with a dinner on the harbor. Tomorrow I get up and travel the uh, almost 500 miles to Melbourne, Australia. There's more coming. Thanks for watching. This is Scott McCain.